morning. Welcome to the Ethnopology Museum of Guangxi. I'm Zhang Lun. As a museum interpreter, I have been asked so many times, what is the most representative cultural relics in Guangxi? And my answer always goes to Tong Gu, the bronze drum. Then you may ask me, what bronze drum is? Why not go inside and have a look, shall we? The bronze drum is a kind of Asian bronze ware, unique to South China and the Southeast Asia. Originating in the spring and autumn periods, bronze drums are mainly used in three ways over 2,700 years, as musical instrument, as sacrificial vessel, as well as the symbol of ruling power, which makes the bronze drum the most representative cultural relics for the South China ethnic groups. There are 346 bronze drums in our collection, making our museum the largest number of bronze drums in the world. Today, I'm going to show you the key highlights of our collections. This is the biggest Asian bronze drum in the world. Bronze drum with cloud and thunder pattern of Western Han Dynasty. In Qing Dynasty, it was unearthed in Beiliu County of Guangxi. It has a face diameter of 165 cm, a height of 67.5 cm and 300 kg in weight, making it the king of bronze drums. It's amazing to find that the thinnest wall is less than 4 mm, which equals to the thickness of seven pieces of paper. There is the sun pattern with A rays on the drum face. Both on the face and the body, the morphies in loops mainly are cloud and thunder. Those patterns made this bronze drum solemn and mysterious. Meanwhile, they also vividly present Asian people worship nature via their unique aesthetic judgment and creation. How exquisite! At this point, I guess you may wonder its owner and the function. Let's start at the very beginning. Bronze drum originally evolved from cooking utensils and then became musical instrument and were used as sacrificial rituals. About 1,800 years ago, the Eastern Han Dynasty to Tang Dynasty witnessed the prime stage when the bronze drum became the symbol of ruling power. We can find evidence from historical records. For example, the book Annual of Guangzhou, wrote by Pei Yuan of Jin Dynasty, says that Li people and Liao people melt copper to make drums, and only the huge one was treasured. In the book of Sui Dynasty, Geography, the person who owned the bronze drum was called Du Lao, admired by others beyond any doubt. All those shows the bronze drum is often used as an implicit symbolism for power, and even used as urns to hold the remains of powerful leaders. To this day, the bronze drums are not exclusive to the powerful leader, but musical instrument and sacrificial vessels for general public. Ethnic groups like Zhuang, Han, Yao, Miao, Yi, Shui, Wu Yi, and the others still use bronze drums in weddings, funerals, festivals, and other special occasions. The bronze drums are known in China as a living fossil, witnessing the association, communication, and blending between ethnic groups. Have you ever noticed that the appearance of our museum is a huge bronze drum? If you want to know more about the bronze drums, welcome to the Anthropology Museum of Guangxi, and I will be right here waiting for you. See you!